Welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Lyndon Sinanian, a curator, and I'd like to discuss another one of our artifacts with you today, uh, a reliquary. A reliquary is simply a box, a fancy box to hold something associated with a saint or something sacred. Uh, it, it, it could be a, a bone or other part of the body, but these are objects of veneration. The tradition goes back to early, early Christianity, actually, and the uh, St. Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, was the one who found the tr pieces of the true cross of the crucifixion and the holy nails used uh, for the crucifixion, an amazing discovery at the time. Uh, the veneration of relics became widespread, and uh, there was a proliferation of relics. Many um, forgeries took place over the years. Uh, it actually got to the point where uh, John Calvin, one of the founders of Protestantism, made the observation that if all the pieces of the true cross extant were all put together, you could make a large ship from them because there were so many of them, which was uh, a valid observation. There were many, uh, many pieces, many relics of it. In response to that, the Catholic Church came up with the notion of a third-class relic. A first-class relic is actually part of a saint or a person, such as a, uh, a bone or a mustache hair, something physically of the body of that saint, and that's a first-class relic. A second-class relic is something that the saint has touched. It could be a piece of clothing, it could be uh, a tool that they use, but that is a second class because that has been touched by that saint. So it is also sacred. And they had to rationalize all of these other pieces of the true cross, so they, became, they developed a theory of third-class sacred objects. And a third-class relic is, you have a relic, such as um, a piece of the true cross here, and you touch it with another piece of wood. Now, this piece of wood is sacred, too. And so the idea is that the sanctity transfers to another object uh, a holiness by association, basically. And so this was a phenomenon which was very important in the Christian, Eastern Christian tradition and Western Christian tradition. Not so much among Protestants, but among Catholics and the others, yes, it was. Okay, today I want to discuss a reliquary in our collection. This is one of the ones we have. I'll discuss some of the earlier ones. One was a hand. One was a pectoral cross that we have. The other is a triptych. You open up the doors and see the relics inside. This one is very unusual. This particular reliquary actually has the relics of 33 different saints. This little tiny center of each arch is a relic. Each one is identified by name underneath the relic with very tiny handwriting. The, the man had an incredible hand who wrote this. So this because there were so many saints on this one relic, this must have been from one of the great uh, cathedrals or the uh, Episcopal See, the Catholicos churches in Armenia. But what's most important about this particular reliquary is this tiny piece right here in the middle of this little star shape. This is identified as a holy thorn from the crucifixion, the crown of thorns that Christ wore. And this is one of the thorns right here. Uh, the, as I mentioned, relics were very important in the Christian tradition. And uh, Jerusalem originally was the home of the crown of thorns. And then in 1063, it was moved to uh, Constantinople at the time, of course. And it became, uh, was venerated in Constantinople. And then in the year 1238, uh, some of the holy thorns from that were given to uh, King Louis IX of France, who brought it back to France. They made a reliquary for it, and the reliquary was stored in Notre Dame Cathedral. And it was in that cathedral for hundreds of years, up until 2019, when they had the big fire. When they had the big fire, they were able to save the reliquary, and it's now in the Louvre. But that is some of the holy thorns. And there are many churches in Europe that have holy thorns. Uh, churches in uh, Belgium, uh, Italy, Spain, France, uh, the Czech Republic, Germany, they all have pieces of this holy crown of thorns. In the United States, there's one church which is known to have a, a, a piece of the a holy thorn, and that is St. Anthony's Cathedral in Pittsburgh. And this is a second one, uh, this holy thorn and this reliquary in our collection. So this means that there are now two holy thorns in the United States. And 
We are very grateful. This was piece was donated to us by Dr. Paul and Badukian and his wife Vicky, and it's one of the uh, many singular objects which was donated by the Badukians to the museum. The Armenian Museum is here to store, share our stories, our history, our culture with you, the public. We thank you for joining us. We hope that you'll come to visit the museum. We're open Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 6. Uh, and until next time, stay safe.